really owns Antarctica? No one. The Antarctica Treaty of 1959, signed by 12 countries, ensures it remains a land for scientific exploration, free from any military activity. Antarctica stands out as the only continent without a native human population. Only scientists and researchers are allowed there. Their population fluctuates from over 4,000 in the summer to just over 1,000 in the winter, where they are stuck until the next summer comes along. Visiting this pristine land has strict rules. Only ships with passengers less than 200 are allowed to land, and each landing is limited to 100 people. And special boots are required, clean before and after your landings. Only your boots can touch the ground, no sitting, no kneeling, all of this to protect Antarctica's untouched beauty. After lunch, we face our final Antarctica challenge, the polar plunge, where you jump into the icy cold waters of Antarctica. The water is near freezing temperature, and a few minutes could result in hypothermia. For safety, you'll be tethered to the boat so you can be pulled back on board as quickly as possible. What starts as fear of jumping into the bone-chilling water soon turns to panic when you hit the ocean, and finally elation the moment you are wrapped in a warm towel. It was an unforgettable experience you must do on this trip. Talk about the plot twist. Our expedition leader told us we had to head back sooner because of a storm brewing in the Drake Passage, one of the most dangerous waters on Earth, which claimed hundreds of shipwrecks and thousands of lives. Our journey back was a roller coaster, but we made the best of it with Christmas celebrations, tons of food, and dancing. Seriously, the ship's menu was something else, and we ate everything from burgers to caviar to lobsters to all sorts of seafood and fancy desserts. We probably gained some weight on this trip. Antarctica is the trip of a lifetime for us, one that we'll never forget. But our two and a half months adventure continues on land. Chile, here we come! Our next episode takes us to the breathtaking Torres del Paine in Patagonia, one where we almost did not make it back in time. Now get up from your desk and go explore the world.